Why, hello, friends. Welcome to uh, the beginning of what is going to be the next character. This is a continuation from um, the video I made last updating on why the Morrowind and the uh, the other one were gone. Because, look, one light challenge is a great now, but we want a solid character. We want someone with finesse. We want someone who's sorted and who understands where they're going. And I picked a character from the peeps on Patreon who gave uh, some suggestions. And uh, Lucas Bueller, if I pronounce your name rightly, gave me an idea where I'm going to take a portion of it. And uh, focus on that for now because as fun as it sounds to not kill a single thing in Skyrim, I don't particularly want to do 20 something episodes on someone who doesn't kill a single thing just yet. So but I am going to take the illusion and the sneak side and what I thought about doing here the last day is that we're going down with what I've planned out to uh, a bit of an extent this one's going to be kind of like a pre prep and just kind of get our character started kind of thing you know the usual crap but uh, we're going to have this character focus on sneak uh, focus on pickpocketing focus on illusion focus on some segments of uh, one hand and stuff like that we're not going to put any points into armor ratings for light armor heavy armor since we learned last time but we could just use smithing Higher up to do that. We are going to get some extra effect stuff. Um, not extra effect. Hopefully get to extra effect with enchanting. Um, this will be the one where we, we get 100 enchanting. We, we actually get it. We get 100 enchanting and we give ourselves the full reduction from from everything else. Uh, we didn't get to fight the Ebony Warrior with the Orc. And unfortunately, uh, I was going to. Uh, I was going to actually make another video there to fight them. But uh, I had to remove every single mod from my Skyrim and it's corrupted my save. So uh, I will never be able to go back to Grow Bro and Have a Girl, ever. <laughs> Unless I figure out exactly what mods and files I had in at the time, but that's probably not going to happen. So uh, I, I have no mods. I'm pretty sure I might have alternate start, if, that, if, 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 if anything. That's what we have. We have alternate start. So we'll see here when we start. Yeah, it's going to be alternate start because there's no Alduin. That is the only mod. I might have Sky UI. That could be the only other one. But other, there's no game altering ones. There's no... Like graphic mods, there's just nothing. It's completely started anew. It's vanilla. There's nothing. There's no Imperius. There's none of them cool ass things. Don't know how long this one's gonna last. Definitely hoping between the 15 to 25 episode range again. Hopefully, can get it done over the course of less than a month. Uh, one every day would be nice. Maybe it'd, there'd be a day here and there where there won't be one, but that's kind of what I'm hoping. If I was to do this correctly, it would be done by the end of November. So if we can achieve that, that would be great. We might. You never know. It could be 1920. God only knows. I always give an estimate and it always ends up being longer anyway. The orc ended up being far longer than it was supposed to be. So, But we've learned more from that. And we've come here now. And uh, all we can really do is go from here. Uh, what I am going to choose is either going to be an Argonian or a Khajiit. Because, I mean, why wouldn't I play a super cool-ass Khajiit during this time? Man, did you know there's this mod I created called the Ultimate Mike the Liar uh, Companion Mod that, do you know you can make Mike uh, your companion? And it's on every single version of Skyrim there is that can be modded with the mod manager that Bethesda implemented themselves. So you can totally go and do that. Now I haven't really thought as far ahead as making an iconic name. Someone as iconic as Bro, Grow Bro, Naba Girl because honestly I'm, I'm pretty happy with how that series turned out. Like it, it, it did pretty well. The character ended up being decent. It was pretty well planned out. And this one's going to be similar. There's a lot less perks that I need to focus on getting this time around. And with things like being able to power level... I'm scratching my head right now so you might hear that. With being able to power level things like... Um... Illusion with Muffle and stuff like that will be pretty decent. Uh, a lot of this will be us doing sneak and stealth. So we will be utilizing the Thieves Guild and Dark Brotherhood Armor. And definitely the Ancient versions as well. Uh, mix and matching them until we enchant with our own stealth enchantments and stuff like that and pickpocketing but pickpocketing for sure for money and stuff uh, i was considering with the pacifist thing instead of doing what other people do and like glitching to avoid fighting because i don't really want to do that if that means that's the reason i have to be pacifist the only thing i the solution i could really think of was doing the thieves guild and getting to the point where i become the guild master and i get that necklace and then i for any chance that i can use dialogue to get out of a situation i do that but there's just so little of them and they're so far and few that uh, i don't think it would be wholeheartedly worth doing too much 
Uh, I also don't have Skyrim's sound enabled. I'm just probably using some video game music, probably Skyrim's music or something in the background right now. But if you'd personally prefer to have Skyrim's actual audio, I asked this at the start of the last one, do let me know. Uh, oh, as well as that, do leave a like, a dislike, all that stuff like that. And uh, I'm not going to be doing this at the start of every episode. I'm just going to let you guys know now. Uh, I do have a Patreon. Do take a look at it and all the tiers and perks that come with that and stuff like that. Uh, since this was influenced by peeps and that as well as that it's just a way to support but if not you can always just watch the way you are no one's forced you to do anything because that's 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 human rights am i right boys all right so uh i'm gonna call this boy um i don't know i have not thought this far ahead into thinking of uh, a name but uh what i think we we'll, we'll call we'll, we'll call him mr whisker that's what we're gonna do i always accidentally do a second capital a capital after that we're gonna do mr whisker that's what we are all right so i'll show you my settings here so you can uh ensure you know i am on legendary we have our sensitivity i want it a little bit higher all my display settings are the usual um crap and all that stuff and in my audio i mean yeah, I'm gonna have this turned off for this, like I said before, so if you don't like... I, I don't think it'll bother you too much, but if you like the sound effects and stuff like that, I can always add it back in. Like, it's not really a big deal, to be honest, so... But so be it. Uh, I am going to start... So, I did this last time. I, I'm going to be camping in the woods, alright? That's what we're gonna do. And uh, I'll show you why I do that. We could do vanilla. This is just to skip the vanilla star, because I'm gonna be honest. I could just do the vanilla star if you want. I'll come out with it with... Either Stormcloak armor, Imperial armor, it won't really matter. I don't really care who survives because I probably won't be doing the Civil War. I don't really have any reason to do it with this. There's just none whatsoever. Also, I'm hoping these episodes to be between 20 to 30 minutes long. So when you start off, you start right next to Helgen. Literally right next to it. And you get this stack here. Now, I'm not going to take anything... Like, I'm not going to take anything that I wouldn't get inside of the... Uh, thing you do get lock picks, so I'm going to take the lock picks. I'm going to take the gold I'm not going to take the guard. I'm not going to take any of the rings with the enchantments none of that and We start off with a hunting bow I'm going to get rid of the steel arrows because we wouldn't start off with steel arrows We would get a hunting bow and fur armor. I'm just gonna take I don't think you can get any weaker than that uh, So yeah, we're literally right next to Helgen That's not really too far off because here's the cave so we would start right here uh, we don't usually unlock Helgen when we start the vanilla game, so I'm just gonna go with this for now. Uh, I am gonna go and explore Helgen, because I want to get this quest out of my journal, so it doesn't really ruin the whole idea that this is vanilla. Uh, do I have Sky UI? I don't even have Sky UI. Even the menu is the same. It's literally just alternate start. There is some creation club content. I'm not gonna touch that. I mean, most of you probably don't have the stuff I have. I have quite a lot of creation club content. And there won't be any cuts in this either. If there's ever a cut, I, I don't know. You can just accept the fact that I breathe like a menacing asthmatic. Even though that's that, that I am, you know. <laughs> it's entirely up to you, boys. Can you tolerate it? Can you not tolerate it? I don't know. I love how this body always just crumbles. So if we read this book, it'll just tell us to go to Riverwood. Uh, I'm going to leave the Adventurer's Journal here because it just kind of ruins the immersion a little bit. So we got to investigate the cave or warn the residents of Riverwood. Um, why I don't want to go in the cave because I'm pretty sure you just have to walk in. You have to walk outside with either Hadvar or Radoff. I'm on like two and a half hours of sleep as well. So, I kind of wanted to fix my sleep schedule. I went to bed like seven this morning and woke up at like half nine. So, I'm like actually decimated with tiredness right now. It's great. I'm also like... Even though I have absolutely no interest or involvement in American politics, of course I am looking at the election. So I had to be awake for that. Even though there was no point because it was delayed in certain states with their voting anyway. But, I digress. Here we are. I am sad I didn't get to use my graphics mods that I mentioned in the update, but it's unfortunately as strong as my 980 is, and it's a great graphics card, it's not strong enough to hold all the mods I had or an EMB. So in due time, definitely the next upgrade I need to do is a graphics card again. 980 is great though. Seriously, if you ever want a budget card, I'd get the 980. Uh, I, I, but when it comes to alchemy, by the way, I have no idea what I'm doing with alchemy. I haven't even considered doing it. I probably will. It's legendary. Why wouldn't I? There wouldn't really be any reason not to. Of course, we're going to start off with the Thieves Stone. 
Um, going to be definitely doing the guilds early. We're just kind of, again, doing some prep here, getting some locations, doing the usual. Um, shouldn't be too hard to level up. We got to utilize training every level. By level 20, between level 25 to 30, we should be doing decent. Because with Illusion, we'll be able to avoid finding most things anyway. I would be happy to do a character in the future. We don't have any weapons. I'd be happy to do a character in the future for... Uh, also, I'm going to do the usual, um, I'm using healing and stuff like that. I, I might do dabble in some little perks here and there, but my restrictions... Oh yeah, so I always have restrictions. We are not using destruction. We're not using conjuration. We're not using lockpicking. We're not touching them. Uh, we're not going to touch... Um, archery. We're not going to touch... I am doing stealth, but we're not touching archery. Uh, we're not touching two-handed. We're not touching block. We're not touching heavy armor. Uh... I don't know about smithing, because I'm like, it is, and it's so necessary. But then again, I shouldn't be getting hit, so I'd have to utilize all my points into damage. So, with smithing, it's a bit of a thing. I'll decide by the next one if I'm doing it or not. Uh, alteration, I'm not touching, because there's really no point. I'm going to be sneaking. I will be using companions, as always. Um, I'm not doing a pacifist run, so I don't care about companions killing people. And, yeah. So, we'll be using illusion, alchemy, speech, pickpocket... Sneak, light armor, one-handed, and I think that's five. Oh, and enchanting, of course, because it's a, what? Can we even do this without enchanting? Yes, absolutely, but we're not going to. I don't. I don't want to. I want to use enchanting. Man, I've had like three cups of coffee today. I want to go and get a four. I'm gonna get some food, and I've done this as well. Eat, sleep, repeat. Man, I'm so sad. The GameStop was doing some deal where I could give in a game on a list of six. I think I mentioned this before, but I'm gonna mention it again. And if I gave it in before 22nd November, I would get 20 euro on one of the other six games. And some of the games were Valhalla and Cyberpunk. Because there's a lockdown in my country, all the GameStops in the country are closed. So, and they'll be closed until after it. So, I, I ha I'm i stuck with Crash 4. I haven't even turned it on yet. I want to play it, though. Because it's like, I love Crash. Also, Twice for Bob did a really good job on the Crash um, reignited things. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, it's kind of nice to be back in the nitty gritty just doing these again, man. So, don't worry. This one will be getting to the end because it's an actual character. So, we got to Riverwood. Uh, I guess we talk to Alvor here. We'll uh, warn him about the citizens and stuff like that. I'm not too concerned about listening to dialogue and stuff like that. Um, I do want to get all the achievements in my Skyrim Special Edition on on, on stream in the next bit, man. Um, so, we need to go and talk to the Jarl of Whiterun. So, does living or life leave? Does living or life leave when you, um, when you go and talk to the Jarl? I don't know. I wonder if I removed alternate star, would it, like, would it affect? I'm not going to, but if I end up stuck with it in my journal, so be it. But I might just use console commands to get rid of it. Uh, let's just go and talk to Lucan now and get this kind of part out of the way with. Uh, yes. Sorry, it might have seemed like there was a break there. I was just checking my audio levels to make sure they were working and stuff like that. So, because, you know, sometimes they can be a bit weird. This microphone's great and all, but it can be a bit odd sometimes now. Oh, there it is. Waiting to look in to get his old thing done. So, we definitely will start pickpocketing. Uh, I mean, there's no reason I can't steal this sword. Uh, did he see me? Did he see me? Did, did he see me? I am not sure. Let me check my general stats. Crime? No, item stolen. I didn't see me. No way. No way. No, no, no. Camilla. 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 Camilla, please. Camilla, please. I'm just trying to rob from your brother. Please. Sniffle, sniffle. Sniffle, sniffle. I have to sniffle, sniffle before I pick it pocket. Sniffle, sniffle! <laughs> Man, I tell you, this is where this is where the fun begins. Oh, come on, give me the dagger. What you should do is you should get one thing, save, and then do it again. And if you fail, quick load. But then do it again, over, and oh, see, now I should save. Okay, now I should save. Alright, now we should quick load because we failed that. Because you guys were looking at me and putting me under pressure. Look at that. I'm being put under pressure now. My skills are being tested. It's just nice not having to do the College of Winterhold for once, man. You kind of get sick of doing the College of Winterhold. You know that kind of a thing? After a while. 
I, I really, really never understood the stats in this game because they, they really don't make any sense at all. You'll have like a 95% chance of getting this and it's just like, I have a 41% chance, which is nearly a 1 in 2. So we'll say 1 in 3. And like, I, I fail when it, it ends up seeming like I'm in like a 1 in 8 odds because I literally, there's three times. So much for the 1 in 3 thing, am I right, boys? There's four times, boys. I'm not doing this with every character. I just wanna, I just, I'm being committed now. I want this gold necklace. I just want the gold necklace. Just give it to me. Luke, and please don't make me try this like nine more times. I need to, yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. See you later, boys. All right, well, we have an iron sword. So what I'm gonna do is archery is really, really great for stealth characters, but we can get assassin's blade or whatever that perk is called. Camilla, I really don't wanna walk with you. I'm gonna be honest with you, buddy. Um. Oh, I think the sword was taken back off me. Well, well, I mean, at least we have this dagger. <laughs> so, we'll, we'll be good with the dagger. Goodbye, Camilla. I'm going to Ember Shard Mine because that's where I always go when I start these off. It's the best place, I, in my opinion, to go at the very beginning. To mess around with your sneak skills. So, we have this in our right hand. Oh, yeah, I didn't... I, I mentioned restoration. I might, like, again, of course, I won't need to get anything like the respite perk or anything for stamina regen. Because, let's be honest, guys... Uh, why would I ever, ever need to use Respite when the all God, all Talos, all mighty, mighty uh, existing power of vegetable soup exists in this game? Why would I ever need to use anything else except vegetable soup? Guys, I'm pretty sure we're going to die already. I'm pretty sure I've, I, I'm, I'm being tested here in my skills. Like, we're definitely not doing any damage whatsoever. Uh, I, I don't think a dagger is enough to take on a pack of wolves if I'm if I'm quite honest with you I'm really getting a run for my money to be honest right now It's it's definitely not going the way I wanted and we're not really staggering due to how light daggers are Um, we're gonna kind of let him just run away there Uh, he yeah, he kind of he kind of he kind of he kind of barked up the run tree to be honest that's a, oh, whoa, 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 this, this wolf's nearly dead. No, 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 this wolf's nearly dead. This wolf's nearly dead. Do I have any potions? Okay, well, I would get potions if we were in the, uh, Helgen Keep in that barrel. They are proper healing potions, but it's whatever. I'm just gonna, they're, they're, I'll accept them. I'll accept them, because we came out with far less loot than when we went in anyway. So, it's nice going, like, in this really, really, really... Uh, decent direction of starting off with nothing, even less than usual, being on legendary, and then going with these restrictions. I have the most fun when I do these kind of things, to be honest. Man, I really, really am excited for Valhalla and Cyberpunk. I, 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 I can't wait for either of them. We'll go and kill this third wolf because we will be continuously leveling up our one-handed. Uh, definitely going to be going to Amrin quite early for the uh, the ability to one-hand train and get the uh, the free skill from him. It'd be nice if this wolf would, um, would, would stop, uh, nagging at me here. Oh, we nearly leveled up. There we go, ma'am. There we go. If I can kill this one bandit that's here, <laughs> we'll be able to get, like, a decent weapon, which would be nice. Uh, and that's a basic sword. So let's just hope to every Jehovah's Witness that exists in this world that we'll be able to, to kill this bandit here. Why, hello, good sir. I'm just going to sneak around you. No, no, you don't want me to sneak around you. Can I, can I stagger you? Man, daggers really are, are not doing me justice with staggering. Like one single bit. Sorry, bandito. All right, you know what, man? We're going to, we're going to let him do a bit more damage. A little bit more damage. A little bit more damage. Just heal up a bit here. We might not need to actually level up here, to be honest. Because I don't really know what I'm going to focus. I'm going to do the usual. I'm going to, uh, the usual thing I do, and I'm going to distribute my points into different um, skills uh, in a, in a bit of an even way. You're damn right I haven't died yet, ma'am. You're damn right I haven't died yet. Let's take the lockpick, the steel ingot, and the iron mace. Uh, definitely, definitely going to be taking the iron mace. Uh, the damage values, the also the ability to stagger is far better. If you check here when you're looking at weapons, uh, you can see. That, um, this is a fat boy, and this is a slim boy, and we want the fat boy. So come with me, fat boy. I am gonna take the woodcutter's axe. Um, it would be cool if enemies really did utilize what's in the surrounding area. Some mods do that, and it's really, really awesome. I really do appreciate when they do that. Um, 
So let me just wait an hour here. I will be utilizing the the um, wait thing. I'm gonna take a torch as well, just in case I want to. I know I won't be glitching, but I will be doing stuff like the merchant exploit, and I'll be doing stuff like the infinite sprint, maybe with torches if I want to get across long areas. Like already, we can't really do much sneaking, which is uh, a bit unfortunate. Um, we can do a bit more damage. Okay, we're gonna have to level up like right now. Let's put a point into health. Uh, definitely going to be putting uh, f four, two to four points into magic before we hit level ten, and the rest definitely into health. Maybe two to five points into stamina by the end of level twenty. I'll see, to be honest. So what we'll do here is we'll put a point into one handed and then we'll do sneak next. All right, so we're gonna go and utilize the trap in the distance because I mean why wouldn't we? Let's just make a save here. Oh. Can we kill that one bandit? That would be kinda nice if we could just get rid of one of them. Oh, okay, so we got rid of one of them, thankfully to to the trap. My speech is like so slurred today. I can't speak English properly. I'm so tired. But it doesn't matter. Because look how good we're doing. I actually didn't really put dual wielding out of the question, did I? I feel like a sword's much more suited to a assassin than a mace. So we'll definitely take the sword here. Um, I feel like for a pacifist build we for sure would want to be using paralysis potions because I feel like an assassin wouldn't have anything against using uh, uh, like cutting the the bandits just a little bit uh, I, I, I don't definitely don't think they'd have a problem with it we didn't get any levels up from doing a Helgen so we have to start fresh because at this point I'd usually be at least one level up or something like that so if we can get a bit more damage from them walking through these rocks that would be nice we did indeed that's good. Okay, one of the bandits got killed by the the killer rocks, which is great. <laughs> I always love when that happens, man. All right. The start will be a bit difficult. It will be a bit tedious getting two point, but once we can get to a point where we can pickpocket 100%, sell really easily. I'll take the Nord Meat because I can sell it and all that. Like, even the rocks hurt us as well. It's really funny, man. It's really funny how this ends up working the way it does. But we'll just accept it for what it is right now. Let's um, keep on heading through Ember Shard for the moment. And then what I'll do is I will head to the front of Whiterun. Uh, hopefully, we will level up once more, which will be nice. And we'll be able to get the first point into stealth. The reason I'm doing this here, by the way, is because I'm not going to be able to sneak past or right next to any of them. Because when we get our stealth up later, we'll be literally able to stand next to people. You guys know how it goes with this game. You guys know exactly how it goes. You end up being able to stand right next to them. Even if it's just a... Even if it's bright... And I can't see you. It's so stupid with some of the... Oh! I thought he killed us there. I was like, man, I'm pretty sure he was one power attack from killing us. Oh, that was so close. Wow. Okay, let's take the steel sword for sure. That's much better than the iron sword. Uh, two extra points. That's pretty great. And there's going to be some loot inside here. And we got the key, unfortunately. I, I really didn't mean to pick that up. Let's take the, the robes of restoration. Uh, head in this direction here. And what we'll do is we'll sneak up to the guy below us, try and take out the two-handed guy. Try, I say. If we're going to die, it's probably going to be now to the two-handed guy. Yeah, it's just not going to happen here with stealth at the moment, guys. We're definitely just not leveled up enough for it. And wearing any portion of armor is not going to help us either. Uh, kill this bad boy. I'm going to make a save here in case we die. We are getting shot, unfortunately. Let me take this here. And then take the oars. Yeah, this, if we're going to die, it's going to be now. Because we'll get killed by the hammer here. I might need to drag her back all the way to the rocks. That might be just the best way to handle this. Because I don't want to die if I have to. And then just keep hoping to God I do it properly, you know. Look, it might be a bit tedious doing this, but... It's efficient, right? And isn't that what we're looking for? An efficient guide? Because we can't fling them with the drawbridge. Man, there's this drawbridge that I used to put uh, bodies onto. And you can just yeet bodies off the drawbridge. And it's just great. So I made a save there, which is never really too much of a good idea. Walk through the rocks. Come on. Come on, walk through them. Walk through them. Walk through them. 
Take damage. <gasps> Look! <laughs> Jesus! I should really be taking all the armor and the items, but good lord! <laughs> Man, that's so great. That damage it does is just so nice. They really, really don't stand a chance at all. I have a few saves saved from all my, like, iconic characters from me, man. Like, the, the biggest ones. I used to play this character called Kiam way back. It was Kiam the Merchant. I, after I made the mod, I made a character dedicated called Kiam. Can we actually sneak up to this bandit? I wonder if we go really, really slow, can we? Definitely think this will be around nearly the 30-minute mark, so hopefully it's lengthy enough for a first one. I don't think we're going to be able to do this. We can give it a shot. Our stealth our, 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 our stealth will definitely be going up. Oh! Oh man, look! I actually got a stealth attack! I should have leveled up and got my sneak in as well, though, just in case. Look at this! Sorry, bandit. You did not stand a chance at all. Really should be trying to look for ingredients for the vegetable soup, but I can just get them in other places anyway. Oh, uh, you know what, man? We'll have a wee look in these bags. Look, I watch us get, like, an unbelievable amount of potatoes. Which we just won't need. What, what is it? Just potatoes in here? No, there's cabbage too, thank God. I was gonna say. Have you got more than potatoes here? No, apples, potatoes, flowers, so... Guys, come on. There's gotta be more than this. 44 gold. Now, oh, I always I always hate that I always need to get this chest. Because I don't need to. But there's just some extra gold in it. And at the beginning of the game, man, it's just great. It's just great to have any sort of extra gold. Alright, let's take... Oh, we got some potions as well. Could sell them. Because remember, guys, the key thing to every one of these is you don't need stamina potions because why would you? I'm not taking the, uh, the bow and arrow to use them. I'm taking them so I can sell them. I don't know why I'm taking iron arrows. Iron arrows don't sell for anything at all. There's literally no reason to take them. Oh, so be it, man. We got through Ember Shard, so we'll be able to put a point into our, 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 our sneak now. So let's put a point into Magicka, and uh, let's head on over to Sneak here. Really should be trying to get training, but for the first couple of levels, I just I just don't have enough gold, and I don't really want to go and screw up the game to get some gold this early. Like, I could go and do some quests, but that's well, whatever. Uh, a couple of levels don't bother me, because we still end up leveling up really quickly later, and uh, this character definitely won't get to, like, 50 or something like that. My end goal is to be Aldun with this character. Just to make it somewhat simple. Um, we'll get to a point where we definitely get to at least level 30. And we have illusion up as far as 100. Sneak as far as 100. Just a, them few basic things. Not necessarily one-handed. If we get one-handed to 100, that'd be nice. I'm not going to be too pushed for it. Unless we're using training to get to it. Uh, I'll go to Bleak Falls later. I'm not going to do it right now. As in later, as I might do it in the next one. But I'm just not going to do it now because we're going to head to White Room. Uh, we did get a little bit of gold, so it's not like we can't get some form of trade. If we could get like a thousand gold before we leveled up, we'd be able to get some training for this level anyway. Or the next one, it, it's whatever man, you know how it goes. There's sometimes the two wolves spawn on the road here, sometimes one spawns over there and another over there. They can be a bit sporadic, but they definitely, yeah, one usually comes down here. Usually when I get mods, the two spawn here, because you know how it is with mods, man. They change such little things sometimes that you just barely, barely even notice. But sometimes you're so used to little things that you do notice, you know? Um, I would go and punch the guard just to get a shortcut, but this isn't a speed run, and I end up not getting, like, the, the stables outside and stuff. So it, it ends up just being easier to go to the honey brew meadery and stuff like this here. So we're going to just keep walking here. We, we got our stone... We got the an idea of what we're doing, you know. We've set ourselves into motion uh, with restrictions on our character to give ourselves a little bit of a challenge, and it's legendary. And we have some locations to start off with, like you can see here. We have we have like we have like five. We have like five or six locations. And then what ends up happening is that like you'll have another bit of a slow one, maybe next one slow one, and all of a sudden, boosh! You know, you have like two hundred extra locations. You're shooting dumpsters out your ass. God only knows what you can end up doing in this, man. I ran between them because I pretended like it was a finish line. And I achieved something in this. That's what I did. Ah, go away with your damn giant, will ya? Giz the stables, will ya, lad? Um, Give it to me. There we go. Good man, good man. Good man. We're gonna head up onto the door. 
What I think we'll do next time is we'll do Bleak Falls. Uh, we'll start getting some training in some place. We'll definitely put more points in our trees and start getting them. Because it takes... You always have to put the first couple of points into the, the skills uh, when they're at a low point. And you end up distributing them more than you do focusing on a skill. Um, but, you know, three or four episodes from now, it'll be like we're pumping into singular ones. And we have the other ones a bit easier to follow and stuff like that. I don't know if that makes sense, but whatever. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We'll get through this anyway. Usually I, I get into Ember Shard and I come out of a level 3, but we've gone to White Run and we aren't even level 3. So, that's kind of nice. But uh, I think uh, I think I'll leave it here. I think we'll leave our, our good character here. We'll make a save. Uh, we, we, got a, we got our start up. You know, the sun's all... Is the sun setting? The sun's setting. But yeah, do leave a like or dislike. I will have a new one tomorrow again. Same as the day after, same as the day after. Doing my assignments and stuff like that. I have two assignments doing like five hours, man. You're going to see this today anyway, win or do. So hopefully I get them done. Um, but do check out all the links in the description. And follow me on all my socials. Add me on Steam, Straight Up James. Follow my Instagram, Straight Up Irish. On everything else, you know yourself how to find me. Do uh, check out the Patreon. Consider becoming a follower for as low as a dollar just perks with all tiers and thank you to anybody who is a patreon i'll have your names listed on screen i appreciate it uh to anybody who's a member of my channel thank you for that too i i i, I do appreciate that you guys are pretty pretty great peeps uh don't know what i'd do without you but um yes thank you have a good day and i'll see you tomorrow <laughs>